we are dealing with uh, optimization problem, which means we would like to minimize something where we want to maximize something. So here the function we want to minimize is the elastic energy. Uh, think of a spring. Uh, if you apply a load, the spring will be extended. When the spring is extended, when it comes to a static status, the equation KU equals F. It tells us if you apply a larger load, you get a larger displacement. When a spring is extended, there is some elastic energy stored in a spring, which takes the form KU squared divided by 2. You could observe this elastic energy by releasing the force. As long as the force is released, the spring comes back, and this is driven by the release of the elastic energy. So in topology optimization, we want to maximize the stiffness, which is mechanically equivalent to minimize the elastic energy. So uh, the object function is the elastic energy written in a matrix form because we have a continuum structure instead of a spring. But the physical meaning is the same. It's the elastic energy we want to minimize. There are a few constraints. Uh, the first constraint is regarding the static equilibrium equation, KU equals F. U and F are capitalized to indicate a continuum is a vector composed of the displacement of every vertex and the force applied to every vertex in the domain. Again, the same meaning for the spring. Uh, the second constraint deals with the design variable. So in this case, we have 10 by 20. We have 200 design variables, which indicates at each point in the domain should it take 0, which means empty, or should it take 1, which means solid. If it is 1, we will displace it in black to indicate some material. So this is an optimization problem dealing with 0 and 1s, which is mathematically difficult to solve. So we relax this problem to allow a continuous change of this design variable. You couldn't really place half a block but mathematically, we allow a continuous change of density or pseudo density, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.21, and continuously changing from 0 to 1 or continuously changing from 1 to 0. And by relaxing these integer variables to continuous variables, we could make use of gradient based solver to solve this optimization problem. And these intermediate variables is what we have observed as gray instead of fully black in the previous animation. Last constraint concerns about the amount of material that is permitted. So in this case, we have 60 Lego blocks. If we count the solid elements in the domain, the total should be smaller than 60. And this is the volume or the permitted material. So these four equations describes topology optimization. We want to minimize the elastic energy subject to the static equation of elasticity. The design variable is from 0 to 1, continuously changing. And uh, the total amount of material should be smaller than a given volume percentage. This problem is typically solved iteratively. Uh, so we start from computing the displacement, so highlight it here. Uh, F is the external force. We assume the force is given. You design a chair, you know how much force it is going to be applied. And we assume this force is constant. And the K indicates the stiffness matrix. So stiffness matrix is related to the structure, is related to the material distribution. And here in this equation, the unknown is the displacement. And we solve this equation to get the displacement of every vertex in the domain. Then we move on to so-called sensitivity analysis. It tells us how sensitive the elastic energy or our objective function is regarding the change of density of a particular point. Imagine, um, consider this way. So in this design domain, uh, at some region, it is very sensitive to the objective. If you increase the density, it will change the objective significantly. But in some other region, which is less important, 
if you increase the density, it doesn't change the objective as much as you change some other places. Or simply speaking, not every point has the same importance in the design problem here. And this is sensitivity analysis is done by computing the derivative of the object function with respect to the design variable. After we have analyzed the sensitivity, we could determine which points, which vertices are important and which vertices are relatively less important. And apparently, you want to increase the density at an important region and decrease density at less important region. And this principle helps us to uh, redistribute the amount of material. And these three steps continue. Uh, each iteration, we check how much change it is compared to the previous iteration. If the change is too big, which uh, we then we would continue this iteration. If the change to the previous iteration is very small, and we can say that it is converged. So this is the principle behind, and this is the mathematical description of the problem. And uh, on the right hand side is how this problem is solved in a computer. Now we have this understanding of the mathematics and the principle we look at this animation again. So when we look at this animation, please think about this mechanical analysis to simulate the displacement. And from the displacement, we evaluate how important each element is. Based on this importance, we redistribute the material. Think about this when we're watching this animation again. 